Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Bam! And this is basically like the truth of what happened to my car It's like gonna settle with so much in that relationship And I just realized I'm so thankful that Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel All About Isha, you already know if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're, you know, returning, you already know what's up. Y'all know I love y'all. Y'all know you're not quite new here. <laughs> but so today, y'all, as you can tell by the title, I do have a story time. We getting a little personal today. Um, Off the strength of me being able to be ready to actually tell this story, you know. Some of y'all may know off me off Instagram. Um, I'm just gonna jump into the video. Boom, y'all may know me off Instagram. I posted, um, I had got into an accident with my car and or whatever. And this is basically like the truth of what happened to my car. As y'all can see by the title, it kind of gave it away, kind of. But whatever. Um, so we're just gonna jump into it. First, I'm gonna start with the backstory. Toxic relationship, y'all know how those go. Um, that's another story for another day. It just was a lot, you know, that I, I endured in that relationship, a lot that I went through in that relationship. Um, me really telling y'all this is like something that I'm actually comfortable with. The thing about me is I don't really like to say things until I'm like, like, I can't really express it clearly without being healed from it first. And then I'm able to express it, like, without cracking or, you know, without getting sad. But I might get a little sad because, y'all, y'all know how things go in life uh, with relationships. Um, so, let's just get into the story. It was this guy I met a couple, like, two years ago almost two years ago um so this is kind of recent so bear with me in the comments and my family i do apologize i did lie to y'all but y'all know sometimes you just gotta go through things on your own and you're just too embarrassed to tell people so now i'm telling y'all and you know we just gonna tell y'all i tell y'all tell y'all tell y'all because <laughs> it's like i can't believe this happened i can't believe i'm really telling y'all but um so yeah i met this guy about a year and a half ago um, not too long. It felt like the longest time of my life, though. I could tell you that Uh, I don't even want to tell you how I met him, because that's another story for another day. But, uh, we just fuck it. So, it was this guy. He was my neighbor. I ended up talking to my neighbor. Dumb bitch. Stupid bitch. Retarded bitch. Slow bitch. That's a red flag. Don't talk to your neighbor. That's not. My dog's crying because y'all, he would have been worse than <laughs> oh, me. So, um, I got the other one right here. Okay, so basically, started talking to my neighbor. Literally, my neighbor. Like, my neighbor. It, it, that's not it. Like, it's not it at all. Like, especially like some fresh shit. Because, you know, eventually, like, you live with somebody who do with But, me and my neighbor freshly relationship like freshly fucking with each other just wasn't it so um fast forward really because i'm had its ups and downs um i'm glad i'm over it moved on from it literally those are some other stories for another day like i'll make a whole video about my relationship okay so boom fast forward y'all um i really caught myself like trying to move on from him or whatever boom so like let me fast forward to the car part so our relationship you know been on and off rocky boom 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 so then I caught myself trying to move on don't get me wrong like I it wasn't all him in the relationship that did wrongdoings you know I had things that I needed to grow from like heal from and you know I needed to you know learn and yeah, whatever. Um, you know, it's it's not only just it's, it's two it's two 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 ways two ways. Okay, it's, it's 
not it's all it's not just that one way it's like uh, sometimes you know motherfuckers do be just a fuck the best individual and it is just them in the relationship but as far as me and that relationship goes it was both ways and um you know, it just had really got to the point that it was just had to like end. And it was like, you could tell, you know, like, just me personally. I know I'm getting Tyson. Okay. So, who was I even saying, y'all? He done turned the dang on light off. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so it's like, it was really like a two sided, you know, like, I just feel like personally, you know, certain things like healing is a non-stop process and we all know that because you can heal from something and then next thing you know you can heal from something else it's like ongoing and um i just feel like you just need to heal from certain things before you try to go love somebody like and then another thing i learned love yourself first you can never love somebody more than you love yourself because that's where you will go motherfucking crazy. For real. You cannot love somebody. That's where you fuck up. Like, you have to love yourself first. You, Y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, I just was, I learned and I grew from it. Like, you know, I'm still growing from it because this is like kind of fresh, you know. Uh, let me just get into the story, like, quick as possible so we could just get this over with and then just... Because this is like my thousand take. I don't know what's going on with my camera lately, but um so yeah, y'all. It was basically boom. Um, like the neighbor or whatever. So, I mean of course ended up I ended up moving from over there, not because of that, but I ended up moving somewhere else and um fast forward to the car situation because this is, story is about the car. Cause like I said, I don't have a story time for all that other stuff so um basically what happened was um basically he found out i was about to move on like he found out i was moving on from him like well at least i tried and so um he found out he ended up like calling my phone blowing my phone up harassing me like saying he about to pull up woo -doo -woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. and like it was like I want to say just like a toxic relationship not like to the point like put hands on each other and stuff like that but it's like things will get destroyed or something in that sort you know and it's just like nobody wants to go through that so so yeah he was calling my phone basically like i'm about to pull up about to pull up what do we do just like really being very annoying and um i was at a certain point in a relationship where i just didn't want to you know, I was past all that argument stuff. You know, like, I go through different phases in a relationship, like, when I'm, like, fed up. And then I'll get to that breaking point where I'm just done. And um, I was to the point, I was on a stage where I just didn't want to argue no more. And it was just, you know, just that. So, he blowing up my phone. I ended up leaving the crib. And, because uh, I knew he was about to pull up. And then, um... So the way my crib is set up, you like go around, you, you go, so this way, is, you come in this way, or you can go in that way. You leave that way, or leave this way. So I knew he was going to come in this way, so I went that way. So, because my crib is this way. And he ended up going this way, of course, because my crib. And then I ended up sitting in the back of the apartment area, like, or whatever. So, um, yeah, I ended up ended up eventually moving to make my way out of the whole complex period and then I ended up meeting him like right there at the exit and so he like parked his car in front of mine boom we like right in in front of each other now so then he gets out the car and I lock the door because like, like I said I just didn't want to argue I just like what are you finding out what are you what's the, the issue like I said I tried to move on from him and just let it go because it was just a lot with the relationship and it just got very annoying and very tiring dealing with him period so then um he got out the car and then tried to get into my car pulling the, the car door like this like basically like telling me to let him in let him in let him in and then he fell back with the doorknob and y'all like yeah I'm a very um 
guys to call me. So yeah, I'm a very dramatic person. I know. So at the time, I just was like, not even mad. I just was like over it, whatever. I'm like, yo, okay, my car is ruined now. That's all I thought about when the whole doorknob came off when he fell back or whatever. So I was just like, you know what? F it. You know, da -da -da -da. so he ends up going to his car once he realizes that um my sister's calling me. Once he realizes that he has the doorknob on, like he's like, oh shit. And he goes to his car and then like I said, I just said, F it. You know, like my car's done, it's ruined. Da -da 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 -da. Boom, I smack my car into his like, bam, like y'all. So yeah, yeah. Um, basically, yeah, that's what happened. I crashed my whip into his. Like, I wasn't even mad. Like I said, I just was like over it because I'm like, yo, my car is just like ruined now, you know. And it's like my car is like, nigga, that ain't no what the hell, and uh, you know. But it's like that ain't no hoopty. What the fuck? Um, regardless, even if it was, I work for hard, hard for mine. But um, yeah, so. Fortunately, that's the story of my car, how it did get messed up. Okay, yeah, y'all, so that is what really happened to my car. Uh, I know I told people different things, not really different things, that I got into an accident. Um, I was just embarrassed at the time to even sit there and say it, but that part of my life is closed, chapter closed, it's done with, um, moved on from it, I'm in a better place. I have nothing more to say. No bad talking to anybody. I just had a story to tell about the situation. I will go in depth more about that relationship one day on a story time. I'm not going to fit it all in here. Um, but yeah, that's really a wrap for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all stay tuned for more. Make sure y'all turn that bell notification on so y'all can see what I post when the next video. Um, and I just want y'all to know another thing before I close out. Um, Whoever is going to laugh or think this is cool or think anybody that's going through anything like that is cool, it's not. And I used to be the one where I would say, like, oh, couldn't be me, couldn't be me. Well, let me tell you, it can be you. It can be you two seconds after you just said it couldn't be you. Uh, please humble yourself. And for the ones that are is going through it, whatever been through it, you know, I feel for you. I understand. Um... One day you will get to that point where, you know, that breaking point where you're going to say just F it, F everything. You know, you just got to love yourself more, put yourself first, and, you know, you will get there. It just takes time, you know. Everyone's different. But, um, y'all stay tuned for more. And that's really a wrap for this video. Um, I'm trying to think, do I have anything else to say to y'all? Y'all know the rest. <laughs> Bye, babe.